we like to focus on a different approach. How can we interpret tremendously large amount of textual or other qualitative data? One could say we should turn to algorithms. The trend in qualitative data analysis and its software is obviously towards automation. Big textual data is analyzed using keywords in context, machine learning, topic modeling and other algorithm or dictionary based approaches. All these methods are really pushing qualitative data analysis forward. However, we would like to focus on a different approach. What we could also do is crowdsource the work. For Amazon, hundreds of people are working to code and rate words. But also non-commercially, thousands of people are helping out science in so-called citizen science projects, such as Zooniverse. Actually, this is often just a kind of cheap labor force. So, if we would like to focus on a different approach, what kind of approach? What inspires us? With both forms of outsourcing work, there are obvious issues. Machines are often too stupid for irony and other subtle forms of meaning making. Human coders are often much smarter than just using a simple coding scheme and start tagging texts. What we would like to focus on is the spirit of brainstorm sessions and data sessions. In these sessions, a group of scientists sits together and discuss fragments of data and try to interpret this collaboratively. And in these sticky note sessions, new discoveries and interpretations are made. Within less than an hour, many abductive ideas pop up through different interpretations of very different people. And many of these ideas get, then get tested, discussed and dismissed. It's a simple and fun way to come to new interpretations. So are we just going to have data sessions with smaller groups of social scientists? I think we would like to focus on a different approach. Because in our small group sessions, we could see that different backgrounds of scholars led to a range of different kinds of interpretations. But what if we expand the interpretation group to citizens with the help of social media? Where citizens are not used as mere taggers, but as meaning makers. Obviously, this raises some questions about the value of knowledge. I mentioned some of the reasons why we try this, but hopefully you also want to know how we try this. Open online research. To make this open online research possible, we've built software. And this is how the software looks like. A friendly environment, easy to use. The example project we are currently looking at is about the change in relationship from partner to parent. In order to open up qualitative data analysis to multiple analysts and people with different backgrounds, we designed the software to be easy to use. It's easy to upload new material and describe that material. So citizens are not just interpreters, but can also add new data if necessary. We don't work with codes, but we work with full text extended interpretations. We see that the coding of qualitative material often becomes rather superficial, up to a point that computers are much, much better in it. And we want to make full use of the perspectives of all kinds of people. We do not believe that every text has a single interpretation that only sociologists could tap into. Lay members might have interesting interpretations as well, or even brilliant ones, that shouldn't be put aside before actually listening to them. This does not imply that all interpretations are equally good, but we take a pragmatist stand. So in this tool we cherish the idea to get a diversity of people involved and thus getting very different interpretations. Here you see how an interpreter can read the observation or transcript and interpret it. Obviously, interpreters can add multiple interpretations. Our tool enables different tasks for different collaborators, using the full potential of a diversity of collaborators. After interpreting, the interpreter can compare his or her interpretation with others. If they seem alike, they could be stacked and adjusted. From the sociology of knowledge, we know how interpretations are relational and formed in interaction between people and technologies. Therefore, we strongly emphasize a constant collaborative comparison of interpretations and discussion.